he can. But given the fact that we are at the end of September, we do have award season right around the corner, believe it or not. It'll be here before we know it. And we do have a blackout phase coming to us for our DASH program when it comes to our teams. So that's why we're coming at you today. Starting in October, the brand does black out the changes that we as staff are allowed to make in DASH when it comes to teams. And that will directly affect our agents and how they receive their awards. So I know a lot of you, especially if you're newer, probably don't even know what DASH is. Thanks to our association with Account Tech, we do all of our um, transactions, our listings, our agent information, all of that is now done in Account Tech. The one thing that we are not allowed to do in Account Tech is our teams. So we are gonna ask for each individual to get into your office DASH, and if you need help, don't worry. If this is Greek to you, we're gonna go through it here in a minute. But we are asking that each of you go through your team dashboard and make sure that it's accurate. Sometimes our teams will disband and we won't disband them in Dash, so it will affect their awards. Or sometimes we have teams that come together in the middle of the year and they never get to Dash and that will affect their awards. So in order to mitigate some of the issues that we see come awards season in January, we wanna take uh, the time now, between now and mid-October, to uh, make these changes. Even if we get into the blackout where we're not able to do it ourselves in Dash, our account managers, either Jeannie Singleton in Florida or Paula Law here in Michigan and Ohio, can help us make some changes. So we do want to make sure that we focus on this. But if we don't quite hit that October deadline, we still have some opportunity to make some changes. So let's go ahead and jump in. A couple ways you can get to Dash. And again, if you have never been in there, if you try these steps and it's saying access denied, just reach out. You can reach out to me, to Barb, to Kelly Ewing, to your RSC, and we'll make sure that you have the security level that you need. But you can get there from my CB desk, which is what we're seeing on the screen right now. The easiest way I like to find my apps is just right here where it says find an app, type in Dash, And of course it's not working for me, so that's okay. We're gonna go up to the top and type in dash. And right here where it says app, we're gonna click on that. You can go direct to dash.coldwellbanker.com or dash.century21.com or dash.sotheby'srealty.com as well. But because we like our landing pages, it is easiest to launch into it in dash. Now, as Barb well knows, even though the ASCs have the correct security status, sometimes that Dash app tile is just missing from CB Desk. So if that's happening to you, reach out, but do know you can go direct to dash.cobalbanker.com. Now, it auto-logged me in because I already went through my two-factor code to get into Desk, but that will be the same thing if you're going direct to Dash. You're gonna need to get that text code, enter that in, and then you'll be entering into Dash. Now, like I mentioned, if you are newer with us and you've never been in here, this may look a little Greek to you, uh, but there's only one spot that we're asking for you to go right now, and that's over here to the left. You wanna go to People, and then you wanna go to People Home. Two of our favorite things, People and Home, here at the Schmidt Family of Companies, so it should be easy to remember. Smooth. Right here in the drop down, you have Active People as your default. We wanna click over to Active Teams. Now, I do believe I am in the great state of Michigan, 1390, yep. So this is gonna be our Michigan teams. So two things you're checking, are all your teams in your office on here? Are they accurate? And if not, we need to make the change. So you can see right here, we have all of our teams in Michigan. We have two pages, so make sure that if you're in a larger office, you do notate the number of pages of teams you have, and you wanna go through your list. So if you wanna see who is on that team, you're like, well, I know the uh, Jeff and Amy team is accurate. They've been a team. I know that's correct, but maybe they had a member come, maybe they had a member leave. So when you click on it, you can see either view details or update details. And we're gonna go ahead and go into update details. This will pull their page. And again, we know that even though there's a media tab right here, we wanna do that in transaction plan. We don't wanna load this in Dash because it'll be overwritten. So right here is where the team name can go. So if they've updated their team name, you can change that there as well. Here is where it tells you who the main team member is. That's the team rep. That'll be a blue uh, radio dial. And then the team member. You do wanna pay attention because even if a name is here, if they have a deact deactivation date, they're no longer on the team. So let me go back through those steps real quick and I'll show you what I mean. So again, people, people home, 
drop down, active teams, and we're gonna go into the Andrea Crossman team this time, and we're gonna to go to our update details. Right here is the team name, and here are all the team members. Oh, she does not have deactivated members. That's okay. So you'll see all the team members, and then if they have a date in the deactivation date, that means that they were part of the team at one point, they no longer are, all of their production will individually go to them. If they're on this list, all of the production goes together to the team, and that's how the awards are set up for the agents when it comes to the brand. Now, if you have a team and you're like, oh, they got a new member this year, I need to add them, that's when you find this little plus sign here, click on that. Once you start typing the name, the people in the company will come up for your particular dash ID. You put that member sense date as the day that you're adding them, and then once they're added, you scroll all the way down and you click save. If they've left the team since, all you have to do is put in a deactivation date and the same concept, hit save, that team member will be deactivated. So if we wanna go back one more time to people, people home, discard changes, cause I don't wanna be messing with the Andrea Crossman team. Drop that down, go to active teams, and then we'll just pick the Jim and Bernie team. Again, we wanna update details and this will pull in all of our team. And again, this is where you can change the team name, you can change the team members, you can change if they're active or not active. If the team has disbanded, in the upper right where it says actions, you wanna click on deactivate this team. Because if Dash has them as a two-person team, but they've disbanded, come award season, their GCI and units are gonna be combined and they will not rank as high on our uh, list of awards because it's gonna assume that they're a team. So again, please go into your dashboards for your office and make sure your teams are accurate. Uh, good question, Michelle. If the team is not in there at all, we can add them. So what we wanna do in that case is go back one screen. Maybe it'll load, maybe it won't, it will. So again, we're in our people, people home. And instead of going to your drop down to view your teams, second option right here is add team. So you wanna add the team. Team type is gonna be associate, it's your only option. You put in your team name, beep, beep. the activation date, which is always gonna typically be today. It will only let you backdate 30 days. So even if they've been a team all year, don't worry about it. Just put in today's date or go back 30 days and then start putting team names in by searching them in the box. We always wanna make sure and now it's not pulling in people's names for some reason. Well, I think I confused it by going back. So let's just start over. We'll just regard these changes. Cancel. We'll let that, give that a minute to load. I think I confused it by clicking too fast. Let me check, there is another question while that loads. If you see a team that does not belong to your office, Jennifer, that's a great question. Uh, perhaps the agents moved different offices. We need to make sure that they are correct in account tech. Um, so if that's the case, just reach out. Uh, you are sitting there in the Florida region, so feel free to reach out to Barb or myself and we'll make sure that we get that team aligned because uh, it could be that they moved offices and then the system just never caught up with it. So back to Michelle's point, to add a team, you click add team, put in the team name, your activation date, again, you can only backdate 30 days. And it's still doing it to me. It won't let me add teams. Dash does like to screw up, which is why we were super excited when we lost, launched account tech and don't have to get into Dash on a daily basis. So I probably would have to reload to do that. But in concept, in theory, this is what you would do. And then you would add the team members give them all the same activation date, and then go through the steps, so media would be next, all the way to review, which is where it's gonna let you save, which it won't let me do it because I don't have any members. But that's the steps that you would go through in order to add a team. But please make sure through your managers or through the team members that they actually do want to be a team. Some agents come together for marketing purposes, but they're not technically on a team. So just make sure that they do understand the difference between individual awards and team awards. Uh, sure, Nicole, we can go through that in just a second. Let me see one more note here. 
Uh, yes, Deanna, that is correct. So if they want to be a formal team, they want to be recognized by the brand, which is Coldwell Banker, Century 21, Sotheby's. If they want to be notated as a team, this is where we have to make sure they're accurate. For the most part, what when we go wrong, when we get complaints, is when they disbanded their team. But their awards are incorrect because they have to hit a higher threshold to get awards, of course, as a team because there's more than one body. So this is why we're asking for these to be cleaned up today. So that is correct, Deanna. And Nicole would like to know where to put media into transaction plan. So we, we can jump into transaction plan real quick. Hopefully, if it's working this week. It decided not to work last week, so we'll see what happens. We want to go over to where it says tools right at the top. Over to the left, agent roster. Now, based on your security level, uh, so Nicole, you're an RSC, you would have more than one office. Your admins, your ASCs would have one office option. It does take a hot second for it to load, but once it does, in the drop down, and we'll, we'll wait for it to load because that when the drop down looks like that, that's not what you want to click on. It's just going to get rid of everything you've done. So you have to wait for it to completely load. Once you see these faces here, if you are a member of more than one office, you just drop down your list and choose the one that you want. For ASCs, you'll only have your one office. And this is where our headshots are loaded. So if they don't have a headshot, you click the little camera. If they have a headshot but they want a new headshot, again, click the camera, find the photo you want to upload. This little cloud here with the up arrow, that's going to turn red. It's going to look like the system is doing nothing, but I guarantee you it is uploading the photo. So don't refresh. Don't close that window. Wait for this little guy to finish uploading. The headshot will show up, and then you'll be good to go. It will push to Dash within 24 hours, and then it'll go to CBC Worldwide, CobalBanker.com, uh, their desk profiles as well. That photo will load. But it does take 24 to 48 hours. But make sure that you pay attention to that little cloud because it does take a hot second for it to load. Eric, could I just add one other thing on that? Absolutely. So when you see that silhouette picture, that is actually missing a picture. But there's also another, that right there where there's like a little thing in the middle, that actually does have a picture and that is feeding properly. I think it just had do with SSL certification or something, but we don't want to um, add pictures over those with the house thing. Otherwise, it creates an error and they don't go at all. It's because we can only have one media, one headshot picture. Yes, that is correct. That's a very good point. And if you want to see what that actual picture is, if you head over to coalbanker.com, it'll show you actually what their headshot is. Anything else to add, Jessica? Nope, that's all. I just know that that one is a little bit confusing because it looks like there's no picture, but and then they try to add another one, um, which then really is no picture. Correct. Yep. It's only when there's that silhouette that it really is missing. Right, this one. Witness Protection Program silhouette. <laughs> Great. Any other questions? Again, we do kind of have a little bit of time. If you go into the Dash team in a week or two and it says, oh, I'm sorry, you're no longer able to make changes, don't panic, reach out. Our uh, account managers with Paula and Jeannie can still help us make changes. When we really get into hot water is after December 31st when they finalize awards. That's when we really don't have an option. So please get into your dashboards in Dash. See if your teams are accurate. If you don't know, ask your manager, especially for those of you that may be fairly new to us. Please feel free to go to your manager. You can screenshot the list from Dash. You can export the list. You can take it to your manager. You can talk through it with them. Um, if your manager is not around, your RVPs will be able to help. But we do appreciate your help trying to get on the front end of our award season coming to us as we wrap 2022. So I don't see any further questions. Um, OK, April, I'll make sure that we get that done. I'll shoot you a note right after the call. And again, like April just said, it didn't give her access. Just reach out. Um, because we don't get into Dash a lot anymore, we, we tend to forget that step when we have a new staff member come on. So it's a real easy fix. Just shoot us a note and we'll take care of that for you.